do this hour project, I learned how to make a pinhole camera. I need my tools and my supplies. For my tools, I need a roller, a pair of scissors, a black sharpie, a thick black sharpie would be better than a thin one, a paintbrush, an exacto knife, and a needle. For my supplies, I needed dull black paint. It must be dull, so there's no shine on it. A can of soda, black tape, electrical black tape, and a juice box. I use an apple juice box. A piece of cardboard, a key, and two rolls of film. For my rolls of film, one of them must be used and with the tail sticking out, and the other one must be new with the leader sticking out. The first step I took to make my pinhole camera was I took my juice box and my roll of film and my ruler and my sharpie. I put my roll of film across my box and I traced the lines with my ruler. Here are, is the outcome of all the lines. Next, I take my knife and I cut the ends along the lines to make the image plane. I'll be right back after I cut the box. Okay, I'm back. I not only cut the film plane, but I also cut a smaller hole on the other side called the lens plane. It will act as a lens for this camera. I also painted the box black inside and out to prevent reflections. For light damages the film. My mom helped me cut a piece of aluminum, and I'm going to make a pinhole in it now. Okay. I also put tape around these sides to make sure that it's light tight. I didn't do it to one of the eight sides, so I'm going to do that now. Now that I've done that, I'm going to tape the pinhole onto the lens plate. I'll be back after I'm done taping it. This step was a bit too time consuming, so I did it off camera, but I'll show you what I did. So what I did is I took my old film canister and my new film canister, and I cut off the lead of my new one, and then I taped my old one and new one together, right here. And then I taped the old film canister down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cardboard piece, which I wrapped in tape so it would be light proof. And I'm going to put it right over here so no light can get into my films. I'm going to take my tape and tape this down. I'll show you what the finished result is after I finish taping it. Wow, I had to make it light tight and that was so much harder than I expected. You have to close up every little tiny crevice in order for it to be light tight and the film not to get exposed. I also made my shutter. A shutter is something that covers up the pinhole so that it doesn't make the film exposed before I want it to. This is my shutter. I just lift it up, the pinhole is exposed, and it takes a picture. I can expose it for a little bit of amount of time in order for it to absorb the light needed to make the film have a picture. So then what I did is in order to take a picture, I have to wind it five times that way. So, whoa. That's winding the film. Three, four, and five. Now the film is wound and I can take a picture. I, all I have to do is lift the shutter and then I take a picture. I'm not going to right now, but that is how the pinhole camera works. is that a pinhole camera, also known as a camera obscura, is very hard to make 
and also it takes a lot of parts. I learned the parts of a camera, and I also learned how many times to wind a camera. I learned also a lot about film, and about how to make a camera.